Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today I'm going to be putting together the interior. This is going to be a build with me type session. I don't have just like a cookie cutter kind of thing I do with my interiors. So let's get into this. So the first thing is figuring out what you want to do with your floor and then determining what you want to do with your ceiling. I think I do want to continue doing this. And then let's grab our deep slate tile and fill these in until we get to the top of the oak. Like so. We will leave that like that. I'll probably do some sort of archway type thing. And then the other decision is do you want a ladder up to the second floor or do you want to include a staircase? Given how pretty my windows and stuff is in here, I may just do like a ladder up to the second floor. Because uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with my pretty windows so yeah let's go in the other thing you can do is kind of connect all these up like so and then come in with our tile and fill in the rest or you can just use the tile And then I may do this house more... Uh, we'll do, we'll keep it practical. Okay. So I'm thinking right here is where I'm gonna put a ladder. And then, yeah, I'll probably do some sort of archway over that. So let's go in and run these across as well. Like so. And then let's take our, um, let's see. Let's take our dark oak slab and put that in like so. I like doing slabs because A, mobs can't spawn on slabs and B, you get a nice flat area up here to work and then you get some depth down below to your ceiling let's go ahead and fill all of this in like so Let's go ahead and break that one out for the ladder and then decide what we're going to put where. So down here you can do like if you want to go decorative you can do your kitchen and living area and then of course up here have your like master bedroom what i think i'm going to do is an enchanting setup on one side a storage here let's do the work area here and then down here Probably do room for a bunch of furnaces up here. No, not really. Though I probably would want the furnaces up here. Let's work on this area first. So let's get our bookshelves. 
in our enchanting table. And let's see, enchanting table would need to be like right there. Like so. I'm going to try something like that. Let me grab this to test the enchant. So that gives you a 30. And then we could do like lanterns, a fancy little chandelier. And then let's grab blast furnace. And do that. That way you have some blessed furnaces. Let's grab a chest. A couple of those there. Probably do like a flower pot. And some more candles and stuff. And then yeah, let's start working on the storage area. Let's see. That's why this is like a let's like a build with me because I have to do a lot of thinking about what exactly I want to do. Let's see. Okay, I can open that. Let's do a deep slate tile pillar right here. Let's bring that up as well. And then we can take our chest and come in like so. if they were facing the other way so yeah let's do that so what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna make this one like right here and then this is just gonna be like glass furnaces furnaces stuff like that and then here just do chests like so and then leave a gap do our tile up and then let's do our chest again Like so. And then here you can do another wall of furnaces if you want. Which should probably be what I do. I mean I like completely fill in stuff just so way. Just tell you like you can fill this in. And then you have a little bit of a storage system right there. Conversely, you could pull these out a little further. So, and do your pillars like right here. Oops. Let's remove this one. And then do another set of chests here if you wanted, like so. do that all the way up that way you have even more storage so that's also an option you need still have plenty of room for that actually yeah let's do that and show you what this will look like because i do like the idea of it So 
and there. Just effectively doubled your storage. Let's grab furnace. And then let's grab smoker. So let's do that. And just kind of do that. Leave the window open for kicks and giggles. Smokers and furnaces, or whatever combination you want for your build. And then here, we're going to make a little work area. So let's grab. Oh, uh, actually, I don't have any on me. So, oops, wait. Upside down, facing that way. I don't want to have access back there. The other thing is, if you have all the furnaces and stuff you want, you could... Let's see... Grab... Chests and just run them up like so. Could do... I actually like this idea. You. A lantern. So let's grab that. Let's grab room light. I'm going to want that. And let's grab any of the trap doors that have like a opening in them. So you can use oak. You can use the jungle, acacia, crimson. I'm gonna use crimson just for kicks and giggles. Let's see. Do two fences, the shroom light, and that over it. That way. Got some lighting in here. And then I don't mind coming in with this. And let's do this. Let's grab our uh, crafting bench. Let's put that like right there and do that. So we have a little work area. And then we will need a grindstone, an anvil, a uh, stone cutter. Do that. Do our stone cutter like so, and then let's just like stick the anvil right there. And now we have a little work area. We got some storage. Quite if you wanted. Let's see here. Make a little sitting area to rest in. Oops. Like so. And then here, let's grab this first trap door and I'll go down and put a um, ladder. Now let's work on a chandelier. I'm going to use this. Let's do a couple pain, chain. Lantern. Okay. Back one. Bring that down. Mm -hmm. It's gonna connect there, but that's gonna be too low. So let's bring this wall all the way around. Can. Hopefully, I have enough room to do what I want to do. Yeah, that's going to be all up in the way. So, instead, let's just do a chain in the middle. And do... It's honestly way too small in here to do a good looking chandelier. So, let's break that out. Um, 
So the other thing would be to come in. Maybe still do this. Yeah. And then we can bring in some purple candle. the candles carefully do a pot and a fern oops pot with a fern like so and then over here let's hang a lantern there throw one there We want to make sure everything's lit up. And there we have it. A nice little work area. With the storage. Plenty of furnaces. Tons of little details. So let's go back down here. Grab our ladder. And run that like so. We'll only really be able to do an archway here because of where I put the ladder, which is fine. I think that looks good on its own. And then here, we don't have a bedroom anywhere. So, let's start working on... Probably just make... Ooh, I like that idea. Okay, so let's grab... Our dark oak trap door and start placing them like so. Does those flip up? No. And then you can do. Yeah, bed in here of any color you want and then let's see I grabbed dark oak slab did that and then let's grab our tiled and bring it down like so and then let's grab Dark oak fence. Ah, I'll be able to do it all the way up. Hmm. And then there you have it a little bedroom area you can do a little like. Uh, you can do like a chaise lounge like right there you can do a couple of signs here to give it a footrest um, you could also do like just a little a little table here in the corner oh you still have room to get back here We could do 
Just some bookshelves. Same here. Actually, no. I'm gonna do something different there. Some bookshelves all the way up, so you have plenty of reading material here. Let's go ahead and start working on a kitchen. So what I like to do is I like to use this polished drawerite because it looks like a nice uh, like quartz countertop. And let's place those like so. And then let's grab our slab and start filling this in. Let's do a cauldron here. Do our slab and then let's do a smoker like so. Here, let's grab urch. Let's just do three. Grab our birch trap door to make a pantry. And then you could take your dark oak. Do that. And then, of course, on top of here, you can do um, this with, we will do, I won't do a fern here. Let's just do one of these little trees. Like so. And then, of course, let's do a couple of flower pots like so. Let's do a fern. Let's just do a, um, it's called an allium, yeah, like so, and then you can do a tripwire hook or a faucet, like so, and now you got a nice simple little kitchen, here can be a sitting area, so let's grab our like so got a little sitting area got a little kitchen a little bedroom then here let's do a pot Oops. and an azalea like so now let's figure out our lighting. Let's grab lantern. And then I think I'm just gonna throw one right there. Um, this could use a little bit of lighting of some sort. Just throw a lantern right there. bed there. That would do it. Yeah, um, I'm loving the way this interior came out. I'm trying to keep it from being too cluttered down here. And then of course we can come up here, have our work area with our chest, our enchanting setup. Yeah, I'm loving how this interior came out, and I hope you find it useful for your builds. And I believe that's all I've got for the interior for you guys. Again, don't forget to throw in like some azalea bush on the outside and put your flowers in. You can even do kind of like that. And yeah, it's such a pretty build get to put in like you can do chain and this and yeah yeah that's all I've got for you for the interior I hope you found it helpful hope you don't mind that I did a build with me style 
Uh, like I said, it, every build's unique and a little bit different, and I don't have like a cookie cutter. Like I always do this for every build kind of thing with this. Um, and that's all I've got for you. Have a wonderful day. Be sure to like and subscribe. I post Minecraft every week. And until next time, goodbye.